Hi and welcome to the first video of Beeper Bear. Now I'm just going to give you a bit of an intro to Bear himself so you know all about him and then from now on we're going to be doing videos all over the country when he comes exploring and some other bonus videos for you as well. So here's all about Bear. This is Bear. Bear is a five year old cross between a Patterdale Terrier and a Fox Terrier. He's actually owned by Freddy. It's Freddy's dog, he's had him since he was little. And Bear is such a lovely dog, unless you're another dog. He absolutely hates other dogs. He will try his hardest to get them. That's why occasionally I will have to stick him on the lead. Can't just let him run him round, ripping other dogs' faces off. Now today we've brought him up to the Derbyshire Dales and to be fair he doesn't care where he is as long as he's running around having a good time. He is such a good boy when there's no dogs about and no people about but look at those views. It's amazing up there, it really really is. But he does like to get himself in trouble. As you can see, rather than going for a swim, he goes for a mud bath. He's an absolute little tramp. The problem is, it's going to be me that has to bath him, me that has to then get a hairdryer out and get him all dry because he's so fluffy, he ends up being wet for days otherwise and he stinks. But he is worth it, he's such a lovely little dog. Anyway, telling you about where we were, we'd gone into the Derbyshire Dales to go up the hills to find something really special. Back in the 1940s, there was an aircraft flown by the Americans that was doing some training, it went through some low cloud and ended up smashing into the top of the hill. So we're looking for the debris from the plane and from what I've heard, it's in amazing condition. Bear doesn't care, Bear doesn't care where we are as long as we're, he's running round, he's not bothered. He can smell dogs, like I said, he knows they're there and I have to quickly stick him on the lead before he absolutely rips them to shreds. And for a little dog, he's, he's quite a fighter as well but he's so lovely with kids and normal people as well. So, But anyway, let's go and have a look. There's the first bit of the plane that we found. I was so shocked with how much stuff there is still up there, to be fair. There's loads and loads of chunks of plane. And you get a bit further up and there's engines and there's like the rest of the main structure of the plane. It's absolutely crazy that it's lasted almost 80 years up there. Once we'd done that, we headed off up to the viewing point right at the top of the cliffs to have a look down across the valley and it was a beautiful place, really, really nice place. But like I said, it's just such a shame that such a tragedy happened all those years ago and 13 people lost their lives. But yeah, just thought I'd give you a bit of an introduction to Bear. We're going to head back down the hill now and head back home again. 